What's up guys, this is Skytech Freak and today for you I have sort of a video review and a small install guide on the official Lineage OS 16, so that's Lineage OS based on Android Pie, Android 9.0 for the Mi Mix 2, so as you can see this is the Mi Mix 2 and I already have Lineage OS 16 installed on it. Uh, I know I've already done a few reviews on like Omni-ROM and Nitrogen Nitrogen ROM and there have been other official ROMs available for a while now like Nitrogen, Omni, uh, Havoc OS which is I would say uh, the other really good one uh, before Lineage OS became official for this device and those have had OTA updates for a while and they've been running on the same version of Android uh, which is Android 9.0 but the reason I'm making a video on Lineage is because it is one of the most popular ROMs it is one of the most stable ROMs not to say that there's anything wrong with uh, the other ones I just mentioned like Omni and Nitrogen and Havoc but just because uh, Lineage OS is like popular it does have um, a lot of stability and support and I was really excited to see that there is going to be an official release uh, it's been a week or so or maybe a week 10 days since the official release of uh, Lineage OS 16 for this device has been out and I've installed it and I've been testing it for about that long now so this is just going to be a quick review of what that's like and towards the end I'm also going to show you how to install it because it is just a little bit different uh, you might even need to install a different recovery to install this so I'll tell you uh, all about that but before we go through all that let me just show you that this is uh, lineage so as you can see in about phone it tells you that this is the Mi Mix 2 uh, in advance right now we can go to updater and it will say lineage OS 16 these are nightly builds so every day there will be a new build available for download as you can see it's June 23rd and there's already the June 24th build ready for download when you download it and install it basically it'll just uh, install it through whatever custom recovery you have on the device right now so that's not really a problem at all uh, it's not necessary that you really have to do nightly updates you really don't need to do that i just have the latest one installed right now because i wanted to show you a video uh, sometimes if there's a bug in one of the new releases that wasn't there in one of the previous releases um, what will happen is it'll probably get fixed in one of the future nightlies so in that sense, uh, it's a good thing that there are nightly builds, but you don't need to feel compelled or obligated to keep uh, installing the new ones unless you feel the need to maybe once a week you could do it or once a month. Uh, other things that are new in Lineage OS, so this, it's very much like stock Android. So all the main features such as like digital well-being, which is which once upon a time used to be like a pixel exclusive, that's in this. Uh, other things that are specifically different in Lineage OS are like in the developer options you have advanced restart so if I hold the power button and then I hit restart it'll give me a bunch of options as to what I want to restart into that's bootload or just restart the device or recovery uh, other things that are new in display you can sort of go into advanced and there's this thing called style right and um, most most of the Android 9.0 ROMs usually have some sort of customization of this but um, here you can see there's a light mode or dark mode or one that changes as per the wallpaper. Now even in the dark mode there's two options. You can have like this default which is like a dark grey sort of version of it. Or you could have like a pitch black version which I think looks a lot cooler and if you had an AMOLED device it would also save a lot more battery. However we don't have an AMOLED device. Uh, this is LCD so I don't even know how much a dark mode is going to help. Uh, but it is still cool to look at. Uh, other design elements also do change in... Um, also do change so like the Google search bar is now going to be dark uh, the Google feed doesn't change but and that's something that's coming in Android Q where if you change like the device theme a lot of other apps are also going to uh, switch their look but it is not fully implemented in Android Pi so let's just go back to Pi so you guys can see things better there is also the accent color uh, and you can change it to any one of these these um, colors as you can see like black will change system UI elements to black I usually like to leave it at blue it's sort of uh, pixel color sorry the default is this like cyan green sort of situation uh, but yeah I like it at uh, blueberry which is that pixel blue so yeah I just wanted to show you that this ROM is extremely stable I can confirm everything is working in fact the fact that it is an official build also confirms that everything is working because Lineage OS is a little uh, like very specific about what they classify as official builds and everything needs to work for that to be official so phone calls I don't have my sim in here right now but phone calls messages uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth the camera and everything I can confirm does work this is the official uh, sorry not the official the default camera app that comes installed with the ROM 
So it's not a very, very advanced uh, camera app. It's just a very basic one. Sort of gets the job done. There is HDR and things like that. Not the best image processing. But I also wanted to go ahead and confirm that the Gcam port works really well. And the latest, the latest um, stable version of Arnova, which is I think 1.6, is working really, really well on this device. I just had to install it. I didn't even have to install any custom configurations or sort of um, do anything like to the settings or change any of the settings for it to work. It just works straight off and it does, as you know, Gcam has amazing image processing and makes the photos look really good. And even though Mi Mix 2 doesn't have the best camera, it's doing a great job. Front front camera ported, back camera ported, everything works. Night sight works and all of this is like by default. So this is one of the things with Xiaomi phones, like by default, most of the Gcam ports work really well on them. Uh, Cause I think Xiaomi leaves it open, they don't really, uh, mess with the camera sensors too much and they use like uh, popular camera sensors that they source from other companies and so Gcam ports become easier to make for them. Uh, but yeah, so that's all. Just a quick review of Lineage. As you can see, these are the new gestures. Um, you can sort of, new gestures in the sense, the buy gestures where you pull from here and you can go to the previous app and things like that. Uh, you can of course change that down in settings in, uh, was that in display? Or was it in, oh, sorry, yeah, it was in system. You go down to uh, more and then in gestures, you can change it, swipe up from the home button. You can turn that on or off. Um, and again, some other things off Android by, uh, the launcher that comes pre-installed with this is Trebuchet and uh, you can swipe up and you reach your recent apps from the home screen. I'm usually used to just swiping up and getting the app draw, but that's not the case. When you swipe up from the dock, you get the recents. You either have to like, l like, hold and then swipe or just like long swipe up to get directly into the app rows which i find just a little bit annoying but it's not really that big a deal that's just one of the few gestural changes that has happened uh, in android 9 and again we are getting new gestures in android q as you've already seen from the four betas uh we have already got installed on some some devices that are eligible Anyways, so that was just a review of this. I wanted to tell you that everything works and I think this is a much more stable ROM. I feel like Havoc and Omni ROM and things like that, just they try to add these extra settings and there are like a few features that if you install that ROM, you would get over something like this. But I just feel like the stability, smoothness and like um, the support you get with something like Lineage OS beats uh, those other ROMs, even though we've had Android 9.0 uh, ROMs for this device, I think from the very start. And I'm hoping that that support continues when Android Q is out and we can get those sort of custom ROMs as well. But anyways, yeah, Lineage OS 16, in my opinion, probably the best ROM for this device right now. I've run into absolutely no issues, zero problems with it when I have the ROM installed. It is just a little bit different to get installed. I wouldn't say tricky, but just a little bit different to get installed. And that's probably where I'll tell you. Uh, that's what I'll go into when we start this install guide. So I'm gonna hit restart now and I'm gonna restart into recovery. And then I'm going to show you uh, what exactly it is that I am talking about um, when it comes to installing this ROM. So there, there's mostly five files that you need to really download. Um, I'll have all of them, of course, linked in the description below as usual. As you can see here, this is Orange Fox Recovery. It's not the official TWRP. Let me just put my password in here real quick. Um, but yeah, and the reason why it is what it is, the reason why I am using Orange Fox instead of TWRP is because when I tried to install this ROM uh, via TWRP, it didn't work. It gave me like a zip treble error or something and it's not like the file was corrupted or anything. I was just using the latest TWRP in the in the official post of this lineage OS, it actually, uh, it actually says the recommended version of TWRP is one behind the one I was using. So I was using an updated version of the TWRP recommended. So that might have been the reason why I wasn't able to install it. But regardless, uh, Orange Fox works well. And I was going through the XDA forum and a lot of people recommend Orange Fox over TWRP. So that's what I did. Uh, but anyways, uh, the first thing you need to do is go into this and go in like whether you're in TWRP or Orange Fox, it doesn't really matter. What you want to do is just wipe it. So of course I haven't installed, so I'm not gonna do it. But once you have just a general wipe, you want to go into install and let me just find the folder where I have all these things uh, sort of loaded up. Uh, there we go, the lineage OS 16 file. So I'm just gonna get this a little closer so you guys can see it better. Let's try to get that focus back. There we go. And uh, make sure you follow these steps in order. So you want to start, if you have TWRP and you don't have Orange Fox, what you want to do is install Orange Fox, right? So this is just, 
it's just a TWRP flashable zip. You literally just have to click on this and then swipe to install it and uh, your phone will automatically reboot or if it doesn't, you reboot into recovery and then you have Orange Fox instead of TWRP, which is the one that I would recommend and a lot of people on the forum recommend to install uh, Lineage OS Official for this device. So once you've done that, what you want to do is then hit this firmware. Again, on the official post on XDA, there's a different firmware, but a lot of people have uh, have said that, that firmware isn't working as well. And so I'm going to link this firmware because uh, the updated uh, developer of the ROM and stuff like that have said that this is the better firmware to use. So then after you've installed uh, Orange Fox, you want to go into um, this firmware. You want to install this firmware as well. Uh, after you've installed that, you obviously want to install the main the main ROM, which is Lineage OS 16. Uh, after that, G apps, you can pick which G app package you want. It's got to be an Android 9.0 G apps package, but apart from that, you can pick which size and what range of G apps you want from the Open G apps project. Again, will be linked below. And then, of course, lastly, the fifth file you need to install is Magisk 19.3 uh, or whatever the latest Magisk is, and it should install Magisk Manager on itself onto the RAM, uh, onto the ROM. Uh, as well, if it doesn't, you can always pull the APK for Magisk Manager from somewhere online on XDA itself. Again, all of this will be linked uh, in the forum. So I just want to go over the install guide once again. You come into your custom recovery, whichever one that may be. You start with a wipe. The next thing you do is you install Orange Fox onto your device it should, and then reboot into Orange Fox recovery. What you want, then want to do is install the firmware. Then you want to install the ROM. Then if you want to, you can install GApps and Magisk, which are the two optional sort of files in this process. Once you're done with all that, uh, you can just reboot into system and um, that should be it. You should have Lineage OS 16 running on your phone. Uh, again, I really hope that this has helped some people. You should definitely try this ROM out. Uh, I think it's one of the better ones, like I said. And uh, that's all I have today for now. Um, if you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, other than that, if there's any other custom ROM or something for one of the devices I've already featured on this channel that you would like to see, just hit me up in the comments and I'll be sure to do a video review or some sort of video on that. Uh, but apart from that, there's also recently the same day that Lineage OS 16 was released for this device. It's also been released for the Essential Phone and I should be working on a video for that soon. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for now. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Thank you.